Hi, this is Within the Tube. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to disable your Windows shortcut keys or hotkeys. First, you need to know what are Windows shortcut keys. This is a web page from Microsoft where you can look at all different Windows shortcut keys that are available. I'm going to show you in this video two different ways. One way would be disabling all of the shortcut keys and the second method would be to disable individual shortcut keys so let's start first with disabling all windows shortcut keys for that first press window then type in reg g3 editor on the top you should see the best match and as an app registry editor if you click on it, it would ask you for permission to open it. Click yes. Editing registry can have its own risks. And if you don't know what you're doing, and if you press and change something that is essential for smooth running of the window, you could damage some important files on your registry editor. So I strongly suggest you to back up your registry entry. In order to back up, you need to go to file, then click on export you can select any place to export to and then give it a name you can put the date I think would be a good idea so you put the date you put the name that would be your file name and don't forget to select all by default it's a selected branch but select all and then once you are happy just click on save it might take some time so be patient don't touch anything when your circular wait sign has stopped running then you're okay to continue so once you exported and you have made some changes and you're not happy with the changes or the effect that these changes had on your computer in order to bring the saved registry backup file you need to go on file again and click on import and go to the place where you save the register then click on that and click on open to restore your registry back to the date that you exported it now that you have backed up your registry we are good to continue there you can see a lot of registry entries you need to go to edge key current user and there you need to go to the software then you need to select Microsoft now we need to go to the windows select windows current version you need to find policies in there you find a folder called explorer all you need to do is right click on it then click on new and then select the word 32 bit value select change its name to no win keys then press enter now double click on it where it says value data change it to one then click on ok and now you can close this now you can restart your computer or sign off and sign in and now if you press any windows shortcut keys it would not work now in the second method I want to show you how to disable individual shortcut keys for that we follow the similar procedure you go to the start then type in registry editor then select registry editor yes again so we go to the same path which is current user then software then Microsoft then Windows then current version this time we will not go to policy instead we will go to the Explorer so you select Explorer then you select advanced select advanced folder right click on advanced select new and select expandable string value name it disabled hotkeys enter 
So now all we have to do is to double click on disabled hotkeys that what we have just entered and then type in the keys that you would like to disable when Windows is pressed. For example, I can put E, then comma, I can put D, I can put S. So one thing to note here is, for example, if you press Windows E, this would not work after you enter these values here, as well as if you press Windows Shift and E. So once you're happy, then click on OK. Then you can just close the registry, restart your computer, and it should stop the shortcut keys. If you want to bring it back to normal, that means to activate your shortcut keys back on again, then click on Start, Registry, Editor, go back to the same place, go back to where you just enter that value. Be mindful, don't touch any other parameters here. Just select this disable hotkeys that you just created. If you right click on it and delete it, you are back to normal. Obviously, you need to sign out and sign in again or restart your computer. I hope this video was useful. If you want to learn how to disable your shortcut keys when you're on a particular application or when you're playing a game, you can click on this video here to watch that. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.